Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, this is so heavy. Um, it's time for the unboxing. So, there is one less than usual. I don't know what to do right now. Oh no. Um, there's one less box than usual, which I'll explain and we'll just start. So, for book of the month, I picked The Adventures of... Amina Al Sarafi by Shannon. Hmm, this says Shannon Chocoborty. He, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be S S A Chocoborty. I'm not sure if Shannon is used for maybe adult S A, maybe for young adult. Not sure. But this was the pick that I chose for book of the month. I love this cover so much. It's a bit chunkier than I thought to be honest, but this is a pirate fantasy and that's really all I know. This was also the Fairy Loot Adult Special Edition pick and unfortunately I haven't gotten mine yet so at some point hopefully I will have a special edition of this book but if you're curious what it looks like a lot of people have posted their unboxings of it. I'm in contact with Fairy Loot sort of to get it hopefully sorted out and I'll have it but Either way, I do have the book at least. I'm pretty excited. I've seen this kind of all over the internet. I didn't, I n had not heard of this before I saw it on Book of the Month and then it just kind of blew up and suddenly everybody's been reading it. So I am excited. I truly have no clue when I'm going to get to this, but at the end of the day, I do have it. So it's something. Since I'm missing the adult fairy loot, I thought we would just jump right in to the young adult fairy loot. This arrived on my doorstep about two or so days ago, maybe three, and I've just been impatiently waiting for the day to come to film. So, opening her up, right on top here is a pencil pouch. This is the stars incline us. They do not bind us by Chloe Gong. Uh, the roses make me think this is likely to be these violent delights, just because I pretty sure that's on the cover. Um, this is nice material. It's really soft. I really like these. I have a lot of pencil pouches. I don't have a whole lot of use for them, but I do like them. And then there's a whole lot of packing peanuts, which I'm not sure what to do with right now, I'll be honest. The next thing I see is a From Blood and Ash mug. This is Jennifer L. Armentrout series. I haven't read it yet. I've seen a lot of back and forth on whether it's gotten better with the like spin-off or if it's worse. I don't know, but I'm not touching any more of Jennifer L. Armentrout books until I finish the Lux series, which has taken such a back burner in my reading, but I'm really excited to get into it again. With the characters, honestly my favorite part is the little dagger inside. This matches really well with Kingdom of the Wicked mug. Um, they seem to be going for a, maybe this is like a collection, I'm not sure, but it does look like they're going down the route of like black and white with gold foiling, um, which is fine. I do prefer the mugs in color. I don't know, it's just a little bit more special to me, but I also understand like if we're cutting costs. I do enjoy the gold foiling, it is pretty, but. Okay, next in here I see a snow oak pendant. Oh, this is pretty. So this is a snow oak pendant. It's just a little tree pendant. I don't know if I would really wear this all too often, but it is pretty. It looks a little cheap, to be honest with you. It's not something that I would necessarily like reach for. I don't know if I love all these peanuts, but whatever. And then it looks like the final item is this art print which is pretty. My guess would be Stephanie Garber's Jack and Evangeline. Um, this is Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber print. And the Snow Oak Pendant is mentioned in the Black Witch Chronicles by Lori Forrest. I haven't heard of that one before. So that's cool. And yeah, this is very pretty. I like the foil. I love the texture of these art prints. I don't know why. That's just, yeah, it's just something about it. Um, this month's theme is morally gray. 
And then we have here the tarot cards, which feature Imani from as the Ace of Stars card in Taha in Quiad as the Two of Stars card. These characters are from Spice Road. That's the book that we got last month? Was it last month? But yeah, this was a recent book pick and these are really pretty. I like the contrast of the Ace of Stars colors. The red with the blues. Yeah. Ooh, pretty. So here we have the art print with the little letter from the author. I like the colors. I like the style. Very pretty. And it looks like Welcome to the City of Night Bears by Rebecca Schaffer. Hmm. I have not heard of this. On the back it says face your fear or become your nightmare. And then the beautiful sprayed edges. I really like those. And then let's take a peek. The end pages and the O oh, underneath is very nice. What an interesting texture. It feels kind of like a painting, like that canvasy painting. And there's a dinosaur on the back with the old church and a casino. How interesting. Okay. And then the end pages are that similar art style. Very city. Very pretty. And then, of course, it is signed. I think I like the texture of the book. It's hard to say. Um, I have, like, this fear of, like, the paint rubbing off on me, like a real canvas just waiting to dry. Um, but it does, it feels nice. It feels good. It's got a lot of texture to it. And then the dust jacket, of course, is nice. Mine is a little bit bent, but that's okay. Ever since her sister became a man-eating spider and slaughtered her way through town, 19-year-old Ness has been terrified terrified of some other nightmare murder murdering her and terrified of ending up like her sister because in newham the city that never sleeps dreaming means waking up as your worst fear whether that means becoming a nightmare that's monstrous only in appearance or transforming into a twisted unrecognizable creature that terrorizes the city no one is safe ness will do anything to avoid becoming another victim even if that means lying low among the friends of the restful soul a questionable organization that may or not be a cult but being a murder nope <laughs> being a member of this maybe cult has a price in order to prove herself ness cons her way into what's supposed to be a simple job for the organization only for it to blow up in her face literally tangled up in the aftermath of an explosive assassination now Ness in the only other survivor, a nightmare boy who Ness suspects is planning to eat her, must find their way back to Newham and uncover the sinister truth behind the attack, even as the horrors of her past loom ominously near. Oh boy, howdy, what a time. That's so interesting. Um, I had not heard about this prior to just literally just now. I'm really loving this whole pterodactyl thing. Um this sounds really interesting uh it's kind of like a gotham like superhero style story but nightmare oh i something about this is really exciting me so that was fairy loots i'm oh it's got me feeling some type of way i'll be honest with you all right now we're gonna hop into owl crate all right and opening up the owl crate I knew that this looked a little uh, puffy I did not expect this but I'm so happy what a wonderful day if you know me you know that I love blankets this is a dark academia throw blanket it just says dark academia it doesn't look like it's associated to something oh no please gonna be impossible to show you guys but either way it's impossible for even me to see um <laughs> there's words can you guys tell me what it says i can't read it um this says knowledge is carnage you can't have it without sacrifice and there's like some moons. This looks very Atlas 6 i I'll be honest. So that was the first item, a little throw blanket. Um, I do love blankets and I'm, my Dark Academia books are now hidden by this chair, but I will be soon 
kind of remodeling and moving things around. So I'm gonna have like a dark academia corner that I'm really excited about. Next in here is a letter opener. This is Kel's letter opener. Ugh. <laughs> it's fine. I just don't care. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this is Kel's letter opener. Um, this is not what I was really expecting. So this is, says, power in balance, balance in power. Interesting. So it's like a legit letter opener. Um, I'll be honest with you, I read the first book in the Darker Shade of Magic trilogy. It was fine. Lila was my favorite. I do have her, like, replica dagger. Um, so I guess these can, like, live together. Um, even though I don't own the series. I've thought about buying them. I'm trying to talk my boyfriend into reading the books and finishing the series and then telling me whether or not it's worth it or if I should just bite the bullet and try them again. I don't know. Like, it was fine, but I didn't love it. Like, it's like a cult classic, um, in the community. And it just, like, wasn't that spectacular for me. But maybe it was just, like, where I was at at the time. Like, I was at a wedding when I was listening to the book in my free time. I don't know. Next, it looks like we have the Treasured Chomes Limited Edition Pin Collection. This is the Crescent City series, which I have not read. She's a, she's a big book. Oh, yes. I, oh, yes. Okay, so you open it up. Ah! I love that so much. I love that these open. There's something about just, like, more interesting pins. I don't know how to explain it, but I just love that these open just little books. Um, adorable. I haven't read it, so I don't know what these mean, but they look important to the story. So that's really cool. And next up, we have magnetic bookmarks. Ooh. Okay, so it looks like there's three. Neil Gaiman, Alice Hoffman, and George Lewis Borges. What did he write? <laughs> I know Neil Gaiman and I know Alice Hoffman. She's the author of um, Practical Magic. A book is a dream you hold in your hands. Books may well be the only true magic. I've always imagined that paradise will be, be, will be a kind of library. A reader lives a thousand lives before he dies. The man who never reads only lives one. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what George Lewis Bor Borges read. The name, like the last name is familiar, but I don't know. I have no clue who that man is. That's okay. Next up in here. All right, but this says the Starless and sacred. How cute. And then on the back it says we are all stardust and stories. So I love the feeling of this. It's very squishy. <laughs> um, and then you've got a pretty large dot grid with the little moth key symbol in the bottom corner. It's very cute though. I don't know what I'm going to use this for, but I definitely see myself using it. I just recently started, and it's also like a cover. I should explain. You can take the notebook out so if you want to replace the notebook you certainly can can i get it back in i don't know so i do actually think that's pretty cool that it's more like a notebook cover so if you just buy the pages you can insert it but this is very cute i don't know what i'll use it for we will see we will see and then finally the book please thank you the print the owl crate theme is magic and mischief how exciting. My first thought when I saw the theme announcement was that it would kind of be like a Carnival, um, Cruel Illusions, the Night Circus, like that whole vibe, which if you know me, you know I love that vibe. But this is Revel, Rev-L-E? I'm not, if, it, if it's French, I, I, I don't know. I'm gonna say Revel by Lissa Mia Summit. I'm a rebel. We never fail. This is a very pretty cover. It's very simplistic, but very pretty. I like the art and everything going on, but the book feels different than normal books, and it's making me really excited. So, here we have the under dust jacket. Love is the curse, not magic. And then the back says, love is its own sort of magic. And then, ooh, those end pages, how pretty. I really love all the blues and purples. Same 
and pages on both sides and if you are familiar with owl crate they kind of stopped doing so many stenciled edges just to save cost but there is an art print on the other side of the dust jacket personally although pretty i would rather have like two different end page designs than a reversible dust jacket art print just because i rarely ever look at the art print it is cool to have especially if you're a big fan of the book but if it's just like a so-so book you're like hmm, money could have been put elsewhere but either way very pretty i do enjoy it. let's read what this is about oh the red on the dark background is not helpful to my eyes on the island of charmant magic flows like bootlegged champagne and fantasies can be brought for can be bought for a price of a gemstone. Lux Ravel, star of her family's fantastical show, knows the splendor is just an illusion. With prohibition threatening their livelihood, her family struggles to make a living, watering down champagne and patching holes in their sequined costumes. Sorry. So when the son of Charmant's wealthiest family makes Lux an offer, all the liquor the Ravels need to stay in business in exchange for posing as his girl and helping him become mayor. The moment Jamison Port set foot in Charmant, he can't shake the feeling of familiarity. An orphan with a f as few memories as gemstones, he's desperate to learn what happened to his parents. But as he delves into the island's secret, he risks angering the wrong person and discovering a truth that might just break his heart when Lux and Jamison accidentally meet. The sparks that fly are more than her magical enchantments, but keeping secrets from powerful people is a dangerous game, one that can destroy both of them. Interesting, interesting. I'm most interested in the family business of having some kind of show. That's just like one of my favorite sub-genres of fantasy, if you will. So I do hope that takes like a pretty main point like at least you see it a lot in this book um if the show is kind of like its own character that's even better but this sounds interesting i i love a fake dating trope in fantasy where you don't actually fall in love it's just like convenient for whatever angle someone is at um while there's like a second secret lover those those are fun those are interesting plots to me so Yes, that's Owl Crate. I'm 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 so so on this one. I do like that the font is rather large, which makes a thick book feel less scary. And then for the final one, got a Luna Crate. I always say a Luna Crate rather than a Luma Crate. I don't know why. It's impossible for me to pronounce correctly, but Ta-da! All right, this month's theme. I love when the spoiler card is on top. Like, please do this more. So this is in To the Fire, February 2023. And I will set that aside in case it's needed. So the first thing I'm seeing, which I did already know about because they sent out an email, um, it's a water bottle. So it's a water bottle with a strainer. What? Okay, I'm... Oh! How fancy! Okay, this is like a incredibly fancy water bottle. This isn't like your normal average water bottle. Although, do I know what I'm doing? No, not really. Okay, so it has like a little case, I guess you could say. Maybe if you put tea in here with the strainer, I guess. Um, and then there's a quote, an incorrectly printed quote. They did email us to let us know that they were apologi apologizing for that. Um, there's there's going to be a discount for returning subscribers um, and refunds just because of the error. It got missed. It happens. So what it says on here is a book too can be a star, a living star to lighten the darkness leading out into the Expanse universe by Madeline Le Angel. Um, and the quote is supposed to be a book too can be a star, a living fire to lighten the darkness. So there was just a singular word typo it happens i think it's a very nice design either way i think it looks very nice i don't know how often i'll use the uh, strainer portion of the water bottle but it's a nice size it feels nice 
I, I like glass water bottles, but I'm always so scared to break them. Next, here is a book lamp. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Expectations were not... That's not what I was expecting whatsoever. Okay, so you can plug it in there to charge it, I'm assuming. But it's just this very cute little, like, pocket-sized book um, that opens... Wow! That's so pretty. Oh my gosh. So yeah. <gasps> this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. If I leave it open, does it change colors? Or do I have to shut it? Have to shut it. Okay. This is amazing. Um, I didn't know what to expect, but it certainly was not this. I like this a lot, but I don't think it'll stay open on its own. But that's fine. Either way, this is so cool. Um, do I have a use for it if it can't stay open? No, not really. But I do really like it. I think this is very nice. And I wish that I could keep it open somehow. Um, this Celestial Kingdom book light is inspired by Daughter of the Moon Goddess. So pretty. I really like that. <laughs> that's like the last thing I uh, expected to really enjoy. But here we are, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in love with this little tiny light. I don't know how well it's gonna light up the space, but I think it's so cute. All right, next up here, we have a zipper charm. These are probably my least favorite items given to us. Like, I don't, what am I gonna put a zipper charm on? <laughs> I don't have anything, really. Um, but this is a cute little dragon. The pen dragon zipper charm is inspired by Legendborn makes sense. Are there dragons in Legendborn? Like, I know it's like Arthurian, but why would there be dragons? I have plans to read that this year, so I'll find out soon enough, but I am very curious. All right, here we have, this looks like a book cover. Phoenix book jacket <laughs> um, featuring the vermilion bird on the south of the, from the poppy war. This book sleeve will keep your book safe while you're reading. Interesting. I feel like this is something I would more utilize whilst like traveling with a book, kind of like you would a, a book sleeve. Um, but like whilst reading, probably not. But it is really pretty. I don't have the Poppy War yet. I have to read it this year. Um, thank you so much, Rachel. You're a real one. Um, so I will be reading it this year, but like the artwork alone is really pretty and it'll look nice once I have books. I really, really want to get the paperback, like there's two paperback editions that I want, but more specifically the hardback. I really want the hardback, but I've seen them come in the wrong size, like different sizes from the other and that scares me half to death, but this is cool either way. Anywho, lastly is the book, which I've not heard of, but it's very pretty. It's been blurbed by Sulin Tan, which only makes the most of sense. This is very pretty. Wow. Okay. So it looks like we've got a double-sided letter. <laughs> it's the same exact letter on both sides. So that's that. Cool. And then we have the book, which is really pretty. This is A Song of Silver Flame Like Night by Amelie... When Zhao, um, I'm sorry, these sprayed edges, are you kidding me? The amount of time and detail, even if that's like, okay, I know it's digitally printed on, but like, wow. I don't understand how it's done, but it's done beautifully. <laughs> it looks like on the inside it is signed right into the end pages, which I do like. I like the mix of an art and signed because I really don't care too much about like specific signed pages that much but I do like it when I can see it I'm like oh wow um but can we talk about the actual book what the heck this is so cool um this feels like it's gonna be zodiac inspired at least a little bit right wow that's stunning I love that we're doing naked hardbacks like this like this is all I ever want from books I could care less about sprayed edges because 
I'm gonna mess them up when I read a book anyway because you're going to be breaking the spine it's not gonna be as pretty um, which always hurts a little bit but I don't care about sprayed edges I don't care about reverse dust jacket or cool I do like when they change the cover and make it pretty but like I could do without if the book will always look like this um, end pages art and a cool hardback naked book those that's what I request in a book this is what I want this is what I dream for it's so pretty you're seeing this the most because you're just reading it physically and it's stunning oh wow this is so pretty okay in a fallen kingdom one girl carries the key to discovering the secrets of her nation's past and unleashing the demons that sleep at its heart once Lan had a different name now she goes by the one the Atlantean colonizers gave her. She spends her days scavenging for remnants of the past for anything that might help her understand the strange mark burned into her arm by her mother in her last act before she died. No one can see the mysterious mark until the night Zen appears at the tea house and saves her life. Zen is a practitioner, one of the fabled mag magicians in the last kingdom, whose abilities were rumored to be drawn from the demons they communed with. Magic believed to be long lost, magic to be hidden at all cost. Both Lan and Zen have secrets buried deep within. Fate has connected them, but their destinies remain unwritten. Both hold the power to liberate their land, and both hold the power to destroy the world. Interesting, interesting. I am excited for this. I, yeah, I really enjoy any type of, like, Asian-inspired mm, mythology-esque fantasy books I just feel like there's a lot of depth in them and a lot more conversations that can be had fantasy books I can still talk about like true historical events but in a way that's approachable and consumable and it's not like so overwhelming um I just have like a hard time with like nonfiction. so being able to get like some historical context but through a fantasy lens is just like wonderful to me I do really enjoy that so I'm just so obsessed with this cover. Um, I'm, yeah, no, the cover alone will make me want to read this and buy this, I'll be entirely honest with you. That was everything that I got for February unboxings, except for the Fairy Loot Adult, but again, you can find that on the internet if you're curious. It's a beautiful edition. Um, it looks like the, there's this cover of the book, and then there's, like, another cover, and it looks like Fairy Loot used the other cover, but then, like, it's a special edition, so, like, you know, it's pretty. So, that's everything, though. That was all that I got. Thank you for watching and hanging out with me. I hope that you enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below if you want to see more from me. I do a lot of unboxings and hauls. I am on a book buying ban, so, like, this is all you're getting each month, but that's... Look at all the good stuff. Look at all these good books. It's worth it. It's great. So that's going to be it from me. I also do a lot of reading vlogs and bookish content of the like. So if you want to see more from me, you know where the button is. You can do the YouTube thing. But until then, I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Goodbye.